La sécurité tertiaire, en fait, ce sont toutes les actions que l'on peut faire autour d'une automobile pour améliorer le temps et la survivabilité des gens qui ont eu un accident. C'est faire travailler les constructeurs automobiles avec les équipes de secours pour que les véhicules soient développés pour aider les équipes de secours à désincarcérer les gens après accident. Als Eurocap haben wir direkt am Anfang ungeschützte Verkehrsteilnehmer als Fußgänger im Fokus gehabt. Zunächst passive Sicherheit, später aktive Sicherheit. Ab 2018 werden wir die ungeschützten Verkehrsteilnehmer als Radfahrer adressieren, indem die Notbremssysteme von Fahrzeugen auch auf Radfahrer reagieren werden. Dieses ist eine sehr große Gruppe der getöteten und schwer verletzten Verkehrsteilnehmer in der Innenstadt. Und deswegen ist es für uns ein wichtiges Anliegen, hier etwas zu tun. L'obiettivo è quello di indurre i costruttori di motocicli a investire in sicurezza stradale. In Europa c'è un problema di sicurezza delle due ruote a motori, motocicli e motorini. Un incidente su tre vede coinvolti questo tipo di veicoli. L'indice di mortalità di questi incidenti però è più del doppio di quello delle autovetture. La roadmap 2025 di Euroncap venga inserito un test per gli incidenti tra autovetture e due ruote motorizzate. Every year more than 100 children die in cars because of heat stroke. Parents forget the children, they are left in the car, and the temperature in the car is rising and the children don't survive that. You think, this doesn't happen to me, but it happens. And there is technology to prevent that. And I hope that your NCAP will encourage manufacturers to take that on board in the near future. Well, we know that quite a few drivers are not driving in the way they should because of influence of fatigue, of alcohol, of drugs and distraction. So we think that if the drivers were monitored so we can see how well do they manage the driving task, we can do very important things for road traffic safety. Automated steering offers a huge advantage for road safety. We began the journey around collision avoidance with AEB and we're already seeing huge crash reductions with automated braking. AES will double the capabilities of the vehicle, not only to be able to brake, but also to be able to steer out of trouble. It's really important that your NCAP in the next roadmap encompasses this new technology that ultimately leads to automated driving. Well, with that automatic rider, it's absolutely a great advantage for the consumer, if he is now in the car, or out of the car, as a footgänger or as a fietser. But there are enormously many different systems, and it will be difficult to make the right choices. Therefore, that Euro NCAP will play a larger role in the final choice for the consumer. When we do it right, werden wir durch automatisiertes Fahren in den Use Cases, in den Anwendungsfällen, eine Verbesserung der Verkehrssicherheit erreichen. Aber insbesondere werden wir durch die automatisierten Fahrfunktionen auch im normalen Fahren Notfallsysteme bekommen, wie Notbremsen und Notausweichen. Das wird die Verkehrssicherheit deutlich erhöhen. So with this roadmap, we have a good communication platform, we have a good basis for future developments, and we have a good possibility to take further significant steps towards Vision Zero.